Hi, my name's Cassius Rayner and I'm a filmmaker and iPhone cinematographer. So today's short video is in response to many questions that I tend to get about what external lenses attach to what smartphone handheld rigs, um, what filters do you do, how do they all connect, what are the differences? So let's just get straight into it. So the technology and the manufacturing of smartphone handheld rigs is huge across the world and there are, there are quite a few different variants but there are two in particular that are fairly standard with most handheld rigs and that is um, the thread. So that's what refers to this area here. Now it can either be a 37 millimeter thread here for you to attach your lens or your uh, ND filter, um, but you also get what is called a bayonet connection. So Moment in particular have a very specific bayonet connection which only works with their cases. So if you are purchasing a lens with a bayonet connection, then that is what will twist and click into your Moment case. Now the other thing is that Moondog Labs anamorphic lens comes with uh, either in a 37mm thread or they've uh, developed one which has a bayonet connection which is brilliant because it means that you can use other cases that has a bayonet connection in order to use your anamorphic lens which is really cool um, and very useful. So it's easy for it to get very confusing. There's things like the 37mm um, thread connection or bayonet connection. In some cases some rigs have an 18mm connection um, it's not one that I specifically use, but there are some out there that are like that. The most important thing is, is that when you buy your smartphone handheld rig, is that you make sure that you know what lens is going to fit with it. So it's very important that you know the thread that is actually on your rig. So, Beats Grip Cage uh, rig, which is solid metal, and it comes with plates. And the plates can be either a bayonet fit, or a 37mm thread, which is really good because that gives you options to use different types of lenses from different manufacturers, but also it will allow you to connect, of course, the Beast Grip lenses um, if you're gonna buy the whole kit. So that's pretty cool that you can just change the plate, uh, put in the right plate for your lens. The other important thing is how do you connect an ND filter to the end of your lens? Well, each lens will come with um, a size and measurement. And we, in some cases, you may have to use what we call a step-up ring. So if you've already got some ND filters, maybe you've been using them on DSLR cameras, and they might be a 67 mil filter lens or a 58 mil filter lens. And of course, what you'll find is you buy your lens and certain ND filters will not fit onto the end of your lens. So what you need is a, what we call a step-up ring. And these will then attach to your lens, your external lens, which will then allow you to attach your ND filter. So the Moment lenses, when you buy a Moment lens, uh, they come with this rubber seal, or this rubber sort of connection. And that is what will help you to attach the ring, the step-up ring, to your lens. That will then attach to that, and then of course, any ND filter that you have that will attach to the Moment lens. And then there you have it, you've got your ND filter and it's attached to your Moment lens. So if we're gonna talk about the Beast Grip lenses, so in particular with the three times telephoto lens, it's a 58 mil thread. And with a 58 mil thread, you can then attach an ND filter by Moment, um, which is a 58 mil connection thread. So that will just attach straight to the lens. But if it doesn't, then you use step-up rings. And there's a whole range of step-up rings. So whether it's a 37 millimeter to a 58 mil, which will be the size of your ND filter, or you may have to use a 52 to a 62 mil. So there are variants, but they're very, very useful. They're very cheap to buy. But these step-up rings, you can get them in small kits, so you get different sizes, different variants and pretty much, hopefully, you'll have the right connection that will fit to the lens in order for you to then attach your ND filters. Moondog Labs came out of um, a brilliant little device called the multi-camera adapter. 
So if you don't want to use external lenses and you're, say, filming your project using the built-in lenses on your phone, and if you have a moment case that covers your phone with the bayonet connection, then this just connects in. It just, just as it would a bayonet lens. And by doing that, you then have a 52 mil thread. You can then attach your ND filter. Um, this particular one is a Polar Pro, which is a really good quality piece of glass. And there you have it. Look at that, fantastic. You're ready to shoot. You've got the correct ND filter, so you, you've got the correct exposure and the correct shutter speed when you're filming. So there you have it. The ND filter is attached and I'm ready to shoot um, my project. There's nothing more frustrating than buying all this fantastic equipment, but then you find that certain aspects won't connect to certain things. So the key is knowing the thread, knowing what step up rings you need, depending on what ND filters you might already have, or ones that you like and you want to buy. Make sure it's the right fit for your external lens, then to connect to the ND filter. There you have it. I hope that that's been useful. And uh, if you do get time, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Go Make Films. Thank you so much for watching. Do share the video if you feel it will help others in understanding all these connections. And good luck filming. Thanks.